Adventures. <laughs> Welcome to the Adventures. So this week we rolled over 200,000 miles on our 2024 International. And it hasn't even been a full year since we had the truck. Like nine months. Yeah. And we took off like six weeks during that nine months. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you guys know we drive a good many miles. We're team drivers. And so we thought we would give another review because considering the truck isn't even a year old yet, we have this many miles and so many of you may be shopping for a new truck. So we wanted to kind of give our opinion, give our way in because we do have experience driving other internationals. Not that we're proud about it. <laughs> we're that's definitely what, not bragging that we drive an international. That's what makes their money. Yeah, so this is a company truck. So I just want to remind people that. This is a company truck. Um, we just feel blessed that our boss buys us brand new trucks and we have the opportunity to drive a new truck versus a truck that has a million miles or a million and a half on it. And we have a lot of breakdowns. So just putting that out there. This is not a comparison to a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or heck even a Volvo for that, right? This, this is kind of a comparison to a 2018 international that we got that was brand new versus the 2024 international that we got that is brand new yeah and so when we got that 2018 um they were really had just updated a lot of things and boy oh boy either we got a lemon or a lot of them were just terrible they had a lot of fuel problems it had i think during the first 70,000 miles it had the fuel pump replaced on it twice um, it had a high pressure fuel line that blew right out of the rail twice. Um, it, it had a lot of problems and it also, with, with those problems, I don't, I don't understand the uh, lane departure warning system on these things because every time you go past an exit, you know, you, you get that noise and it's just not good for yeah. uh, team driving. It's, it's just not. So the 2018, honestly, like... We got that truck brand new with barely any miles on it. We were the only ones driving it. And before it even had 50,000 miles on it, we broke down. Yeah, yeah, 30. The first fuel pump went at 30 and the second one about 70,000 miles. Yeah, so before it ever even reached 200,000 miles, we broke down so many times that I honestly can't even count. But I'll make a playlist just for the internationals and the majority of the videos will be the breakdown. So if you don't believe us, go back and watch some of that old content. Um, we tried to make light of it. We got stuck in Tennessee one time. I mean, it's just on and on and on. Like, it was crazy. Like, we broke down three times in one week in the same international truck. So, we have a love-hate relationship for these trucks. I'll just say that. But the exciting news is, is that the 2024... It seems as though they've worked out a lot of bugs. We haven't had hardly any problems out of it. Um, our steer tires were kind of unusual. Uh, we got 180,000 miles on the steer tires. And uh, I always check the pressure in them. It, you know, they, they stay good. But something happened to where the passenger side started wearing on the outside. We had an alignment. And then it seemed like it was starting to wear worse. Um, they put a new set of steer tires on it and it really stinks because there was a lot of tread left on those tires but it started wearing on the outside real bad and the new steer tires seem to be doing pretty well yeah. I don't see any unusual wear or uneven wear so and once far. it started doing that it started really aggressively pulling to the right of the road and so those are kind of some early warning signs that you can pick up on whether your truck needs alignment or maybe you have a bad tire other than yes get out there do your pre-trip more than once a day that's what you're supposed to do especially if you're team drivers it's part of your job do your job really the only thing that has been i would say major um but most tires need replaced around 150,000 miles um to 200 so really we're right in the middle of that so yeah um not a big complaint yeah i think it was about 190 when they finally finally got replaced but man that's a lot of miles on the steer tires and they look brand new outside of the wear on the outside yeah um so then there's just like some other things 
Um, one thing that has continued to develop, um, we're all very aware of it as drivers, he already mentioned it slightly, was the technology for lane departure, crash and mitigation, and we give it a absolute horrible review. Um, we do not like it in the truck. We do not think that it makes you a safer or better driver for us and some other people we know. And actually, like um, on road dog trucking, um, Casey um, brought this up and this was a topic that was covered under mental health and what could lead to poor mental health of drivers. And even another driver called in and said that this was her complaint and how it drives you absolutely mad. It makes you start to develop aggression irritation and um, yeah it not only does all the beeping and the sounds lead to decline of mental health but also it doesn't work right so if you're going past a exit or a get on or if you're in construction then it doesn't always pick up whether you're in the lane or out of the lane and so when you have the system on it beeps saying that you just went out of your lane and it was just a break in the line just, so that's it obnoxious. It's pretty, pretty uh, obnoxious. Yes, it does. Yeah. And then the other thing is the crash, crash mitigation really has some flaws in it. Uh, three major flaws that it engages the system incorrectly and really causes additional stress where our brains automatically think we're crashing and we have a response of like, oh my gosh. Like, and there's no emergency like that we couldn't have handled on our own. So the one, I'll start with the less of severity. And it's going to be when you're going down a hill and it's a steeper incline. So like when we're going through Richmond on 295, there's a bridge and it goes down and then it levels out pretty quickly. Whenever I hit the bottom of that bridge, the truck thinks that there's a car or something in front of me and it's going to crash. So it starts applying the brakes and jerks the steering wheel to the right every time so yeah you can override it and this happens only when you're in cruise control so you can override it by hitting the throttle but that's not how the system is designed to operate like yeah i wouldn't think so and, and what, what's really annoying is if you know, and i know you guys happy happen to you every day it happens to us every day that somebody will come over and cut off cut in front of you jumping from third lane to first lane whatever mm -hmm. um the truck thinks that it, it already crashed it says collision imminent so it's like mm -hmm. yeah we're dead but then it'll go into a not really a limp mode but you can't use the cruise control the check engine light will come on then you have to pull over turn it off let it reset maybe it'll go away maybe it won't usually over the weekend time down it goes away but mm -hmm. you know it's just there's there's something in there that's not working quite right outside of the fact that it just slams on the brakes and threw her out of bed one time and you know she's like it, what happened what is going on like i didn't get a little heated it's alarming i mean something similar to that um yeah, yeah I, i'm i'm not gonna lie it's you know yeah i'm a christian but i'm also human um unfortunately <laughs> um i do have ptsd um and so sometimes my trauma response is a little bit heightened that's why i do have little willow jane that's being trained to calm me down <laughs> um but it is really scary when it does that because three times that it has it happened on a major thing where it thought we were colliding and it locks up the entire set and every time we've had a set of doubles that it's done this and it's in heavy heavy traffic somebody jumps in to squeeze in you know where it's like lanes ending lanes ending get over get over and everybody's following except for the one person they jump in front of you and it thinks that you have had an accident and it's definitely scary um, and the other one is it does it whenever you're when a car in front of you is pacing and you have the cruise set and all of a sudden they jump off the exit it doesn't recognize that the car jumped off the exit and it still thinks it's in front of you and you're gonna hit it so it slams on the brakes again so um, I think these systems are probably pretty even across the board. I know, yeah, we can call it international. They can can change the specs, this, that, and the other. Do I think it's really going to change and be worth our hassle to have to take the truck to the shop and them do it? No, I, I personally don't think yeah. international has good customer Cause, service. Because they're going to say, uh, the computer says nothing's wrong. Bye-bye. Yeah. 
So then we have to take the truck to the shop, pick it back up and go through all that hassle. It's not worth adding that stress because then I'm gonna get frustrated when they say it's fine and I know it's not fine. Um, yeah, so we just let it ride. Another so, big thing that I, I kinda, I don't like the steering on it. The steering, it's been since day one, it seems like there's just a little, just enough slop in it that where you can't keep it in a straight line down the road. And yeah, they said, well, you got to consider the crown of the rope, but that's not what it is, though. It's the, very sloppy. There's some kind of slop in it. Everything's tight. Um, all the front end components. I just, I just, I just don't like the steering on it. So I really do believe that some of the problems are just linked to being an automatic and all of the new features that are computer driven, AI driven, and just all of that together. Um, we're just old school truckers that like old school trucks and like, yeah, we don't like all the electronics near as much. Miss my gear shift something terrible. Yeah. Um, but some other things that we don't really like um, is the driver's seat. It's okay if you're driving seven or eight hours, but once you get into 10, 11 hours, it really starts to wear on your back and become uncomfortable. So. Yeah, they're not the most comfortable seats either, and it just doesn't make sense for us to go spend fifteen hundred dollars on a new seat for somebody else's truck. I guess we could take it out when we leave, but now we're stuck with the seat. Yeah, they would probably have a million seat miles on it. Yeah. <laughs> um. Then the one of the other things. This is like something really small, but is a big nuisance is where the fire extinguisher is located it's right next to the right door right over here by the seat yeah and so the seat belt constantly gets stuck in it i accidentally already ripped the mount out of the ground i'm like hercules sometimes and uh <laughs> I yeah. Break stuff. yeah i had i had a uh instance one time where the pin came loose and <laughs> i tugged on my seat belt because it was wrapped around the handle of the fire extinguisher and set wow. it off and you know you got fire extinguisher crap all over the inside of it. it it was a terrible mess it was a terrible terrible mess it was in the middle of the night and i'll leave that video linked so you guys can watch it um we really tried to make the best of the day but it was a terrible rotten day so that got set off in the middle of the night i was sleeping and i had to get up help him clean it up and with my asthma it was just terrible and then we ended up breaking down i don't i think we had a flat tire or something um it was just one of those days and but so yeah we're gonna relocate goodness watch out my attack dog mm. she's telling somebody about their business hey have any of these kind of problems or is it just us getting lucky with uh with lemon trucks all the time um, and we finally got a golden goose <laughs> The golden dirt. <laughs> Y'all, we know that this is an international. So, again, we always try to make the best of it. Um, it's not our truck. It's what the boss buys. We just feel incredibly blessed that our boss bought us a new truck and allows us to drive a brand new truck um, so that it does have less problems and whatnot. So, we're just grateful for that. Okay, so, the phone keeps overheating because the sun's really hot. So... Hopefully you've gotten a good review because, yeah, we gotta hit the road again. Y'all know, we're team drivers, we're on a dedicated route, we have time and things to meet, so we gotta get going, but hopefully you've enjoyed this 2024 international review with 200,000 miles on it, and it helps you if you wanna buy a truck and you have that decision to make. Um, it's giving you some good feedback, but make sure you comment below if you have one of these trucks so that way the community uh, can just know other people's reviews and opinions of the truck, not just ours. So it doesn't just help us, but really the community that watches these videos as well. But you all be safe. Enjoy the adventures. Bye. Bye.